In this video, we are diving back into Pico CTF 2022 Capture the Flag. I'm over here on my computer screen. I have a Sublime Text text editor open, as well as a Kali Linux command line terminal. I am running the Kali Linux virtual machine for this here. And uh, I'm moving into the web exploitation category for a new challenge called Secrets. In 200 points, we're on the fourth page. And this is what? I guess the 38th challenge that we're going to tackle. So let's get into it. It says, we have several pages hidden. Can you find the one with the flag? The website is running here. We can go ahead and open this up and goodness, okay. If security wasn't your job, would you do it as a hobby? And you can see there is a kind of wordle here or a word cloud. Looks like it's just a stock photo. Uh, okay. <laughs> the about page, uh, extremely disorienting and uh, uncomfortable emoji animation. For the muscle, we're here to learn and exercise cybersecurity muscles, is what that says. I know my face is in the way, but here's a contact page. This looks like regular classic lorem ipsum text, which is just filler text. Um, if you aren't familiar with it, it's just garbage data to look like it as if there's actually content on a web page. But there is nothing here. So none of these pages look like they have anything remotely interesting in them. However, we have not yet clicked or view page source when we right click and select that or hit control U on our keyboard. Inspecting elements and opening things up with the developer tools, there's a lot more we could dig into here. So I see a link denoted with a CSS or cascading style sheets file that's loaded in and the folder name here is called secret. That's kind of interesting. Uh, secret assets index.css, secret assets and an image file. If I go click on this, there's nothing else I guess interesting in this cascading style sheets, but because it is in the secret folder, part of me wonders if we could actually reference anything else. So I, I moved out of full screen to be able to take a look at the URL or the address bar. And I don't want to strictly go to the index.css file, but I want to see if there's anything else present in the assets directory. That actually returns forbidden, so I won't be able to maybe get a listing of the files in that directory. But I am going to check out secret. And oh, goodness. Okay, this put me somewhere. I have Chris Pratt telling me I have no idea what I'm doing, <laughs> but I know I'm doing it really, really well. Okay, okay. Thanks, Chris Pratt. Um, finally, you found me. You're doing well. If I view the page source again here with control U, um, nothing else going on. However, we have this GIF and a hidden style sheet present here with the file.css. We can go ahead and click on that, but there's nothing in this file. I hit control U on my keyboard just again, and there's nothing here. So if I dig into that, ooh, again, I just kind of moved up to the page here to access the hidden directory. This actually looks like it brought me to like an index.php or index.html page as that is going to be the very default file that's accessed when you go to like a directory within a web server or service. Um, notice that I was, hey, still on my control U and view source page. Uh, it looks like this has a login, but it's also determining, hey, if you were to post this stuff, to anything? No, there, there isn't even like a form post to any of this. Actually has an on-click alert. Thanks for the attempt, but oops, try harder. Better luck next time. It has a super hidden directory though, that is again going to be relative to the current one that we're in. Same thing with super hidden login.css. Nothing interesting in here. Again, just regular cascading style sheets. But if I hit backed, I'm curious what that other super hidden xdf gwd uh, page is. Let's go visit that. Uh, and that had it not found. What? We were just... Okay, okay. So that page didn't exist, but super hidden. I just highlighted. I just dragged my mouse all over the page. Super hidden again would put us in like an index.html page by default, which is the page we're actually looking at. If we don't specify that, again, just going into a folder or a directory will specify that from a web browser. If we hit the view source on this, look, there is an h3 or header three element that includes our flag here. So kind of a silly Dumbo cheesy. <laughs> Here's the CSS. Uh, another 
strange web challenge that's not so much web exploitation, but just digging around and finding stuff. In all reality, if we were to go into web exploitation and make a directory for secrets, uh, we could very well have just grabbed this page and done as we did previously, like a wget tac m to try and retrieve all these things. Uh, it might actually catch some of the hidden directories here. Like, hey, a new secret was referenced. Did it actually grab index.html? No, it didn't. It didn't grab any of the secret special pages because they weren't referred to within the text of the web pages. But we were able to kind of dig around and, and, and find them. Like, there weren't things that linked to any of these locations. We just poked around in our web browser. But we now know, okay, this is a URL we could access, super hidden inside of hidden inside of secret. So while it's stupid, we could again maybe remove this Saturn directory that we just downloaded, but go ahead and curl to this page as now that we know that's what it is, and we can carve out the flag as we usually do. Make curl silent and grep to retrieve only regular expressions extended at pico ctf dot slash or asterisk and star color equals none. And that is yet another web exploitation category done. We can go ahead and save that. We now have the get flag script and we now have the flag and we can finish that challenge. Uh, what do you guys think? How are you guys feeling? Are you enjoying these web category challenges? Uh, <laughs> thanks, giant picture of Chris Pratt. Let's submit that and uh, make that one done and over with. Goodness. Uh, so I'm asking, right, what do you think about these web challenges? Because so far, and I know we are, what, 38 challenges into a 66 challenge game. How many, how many, how many web challenges have we completed? If I filter this on the web exploitation category, okay, we have four left. <laughs> and we have a sharp cutoff from SQL challenges, uh, 2,000 solves, and then these web ones with seven and 40. <laughs> uh, interesting, right? So whatever. Hey, uh, cool, good. It's still giving us some good exposure and maybe sharpening some skills that we haven't played with in a little bit. Uh, all good things to be able to practice and play Capture the Flag. I'm a fan of it. I hope you are too. If you like this video, please do those YouTube algorithm things. Like, comment, subscribe. You know anything that can help the channel grow, get these videos to more folks. And uh, that's what it's all about. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.